Blessed ones, I am here in response to your heart's call for light, the light of freedom, the light of love manifest as liberty, that soul light that is expressed when you offer your full being to God, the oversoul of yourself, and the effulgence of the Spirit manifest through your word. I am the Lord Zadkiel, and I stand upon the eastern seashore of America, and I send forth legions of angels, north, south, east, and west, this morning, to accomplish a specific work for God, and that is the inculcation within the lives and the hearts and the souls of mankind, a greater light of freedom, so that each one may know the soul, that each one may feel God's love, that each one may truly accept a higher way, a more sublime path to the light of the presence and to that God glory that is the solar reality of true selfhood in the One. When an archangel comes, the earth may tremble, for this is the manifestation of the presence of the Lord, where ye are, O mankind. For we extend the currents of the Lord's being through the ray that we bear where we are. And we offer to each one, opportunity for the acceptance of greater light within the self. Therefore, angels of the sacred fire, angels of the seventh ray of freedom, alchemy, and all that manifests through that violet energy field of perfect divine bliss. Go forth and speak to the hearts of men and women and children. Come to their aid, the aid of the soul, which is hidden within many, unaccepted, by millions, and yet this day may receive in the twinkling of an eye a new impulse from on high from the archangelic realms. Dearest ones, though we appear here and there on the etheric plane, only a few see us and accept our existence, and yet many more are coming in to the inner understanding and divine knowledge of the work of the archangels and their legions. Yes, I was there when Moses touched the waters of the Red Sea, and they parted for divine ones, this was an act of cosmic alchemy accomplished by the work of archangelic spirits of light. I was there when the Lord Jesus turned water into wine at Cana, for this was his first public demonstration in that environment of his self-mastery manifest 
to the laws of alchemy, which he had studied in the East under the tutelage of the Lord Maitreya. I was there when Elijah was taken up in a whirlwind of light and a chariot of fire and Elisha his disciple eyes clear and open beheld the glory of the Lord the ascension of a great spirit of light. For within that whirlwind was the action of the ascension flame, precipitated by an accelerated energy of seventh ray joy, freedom, and beingness. For each time, dearest ones, that one steps into that ascension current, the seventh ray of freedom is manifest, the freedom of the soul, one with God in that cosmic act of liberation, separating out from the not-self and uniting with the greater God-self of all that is real. Each act that you perform of enlightened self-interest and moving toward the frequency of purity within your I am presence is an act of alchemy of the seventh ray, for you are liberating atoms, molecules, and cells of yourself toward their ultimate destiny of perfectionment in the I am that I am. O holy ones of God, in simple acts of divine love, compassion, and kindness, the seventh ray of pure joy is accomplished by God's grace. Therefore give with all that you can, with your soul, and your mind and your heart as one, accepting in the very act of giving through the receiving current of sacred fire from your I am presence, all that God instantaneously re-bestows upon you of light, light, light. Many of you have given in response to the Master Saint Germain through David. And I, Zadkiel, perform archangelic alchemy this day in multiplying right within your auric field, right within your soul, that light energy that is within the gift that you have offered to this great Master and to this movement, blaze forth, O light of seventh ray joy, within the alchemical fires and the multiplication factor of Maximus within what these souls of light have given, O Lord God. Blaze forth, blaze forth, blaze forth. And let those who have not yet offered through the sanctity of their acceptance of the Master's word, their all, also receive what they require in this hour in order to bestow upon the cosmos that which is true within them which is always that which is multiplied by the Lord in their offering and givingness. You see, dearest ones, for those who respond, we answer. Now some of you may be concerned that the full amount 
of that which Saint Germain has called forth is not clearly in your hands and use yet. How you say within your being, may this miraculous amount of money be precipitated within those thirty-three days of this vigil. I give you a key this day, dear ones, that through your acceptance of the goal manifest within your soul, seeing clearly, feeling and knowing and believing with the totality of yourself that it is manifest by the laws of alchemy, you will assist in its manifestation as soon as cosmically possible. And in reality, within the etheric plane, the light energy collectively held by all of you begins to allow the coalescing process of this sacred work to occur. And then, angels of self-realization, angels of precipitation, angels of abundance, and those who glorify God night and day, day and night, and throughout the cosmic cycles of eternality, lend the momentums of their beings to this process. Some of you do not believe in yourselves, and therefore how can you believe in cosmic alchemy? Therefore, acceptance of who you are and of your right to know God and to have all that you require is essential for this divine science to be self-realized, you see. And some of you simply do not accept that you have what it takes to be active participants in the sacred dynamic of cosmic alchemy that the Master has called forth. Well, dearest ones, you have read the I Am books. Do you accept that the Master is able to precipitate instantaneously from the universal substance of light anything that he so desires that is in alignment with the will of God? You have read it in the I Am teachings, and yet how many of you have demonstrated through your own self-mastery and through this level of cosmic belief and acceptance and total faith in who you are in God that it can also occur through you and you and you. I am here to give you insight and to incite you to greater God-beingness through knowing the laws of light and through our intercession of sacred fire. O holy ones of God, believe, accept, know, and then realize in totality who you are as an I am being, and in this your victory and all that is essential for you to have within your environment and use will be at hand. I am Zadkiel, and by the Z-ray of self-realization, through seventh-ray joy, I precipitate within your hands and use the alchemy of abundance and a new victorious sense that you are purely God's. Thank you.